seem to wrinkle and fall, right? Well, guess what? They don't have to. Medical technology has come a long way. As a matter of fact, what if I told you you could have a facelift without ever going under a knife? Board certified plastic surgeon Dr. Jeffrey Patak is here with a procedure that you call the stem cell facelift or or fat transfer um, for another term that you right. use. And you, you're kind of the pioneer. You, you're, you've kind of started this whole deal. Tell me how it works. Well, I was certainly one of the first in Arizona to bring it to uh, the public's attention because it was a little bit disappointing when we were looking at the, our results really critically about traditional facelifts. Uh -huh. And over the past 10 years, there's been really a shift in the thinking that it's all about volume in the face. It isn't about pulling it tighter or higher. It's really about giving back the three-dimensional youthfulness of the face, which is fat. Stem cells are in fat, and I think it's a little bit of a misnomer, but they do activate and they are very, very beneficial to the face. But you're really transferring your own body fat and adding volume back that gives the, the youthfulness in the face. Well, as a matter of fact, we were looking at this um, before and after picture here, and it's kind of hard to believe that this can happen in, you know, an afternoon <laughs> in your office. I mean, look at, I have no idea um, how old she is, but boy, that after shot is pretty amazing well it's pretty well known that by the time you're in your 40s and 50s you've already lost a very significant amount of fat in your face hmm. and it is actually very possible in an afternoon setting a few hours in under local anesthesia in the office to transfer some of your own fat from either the buttock or the thighs under a little micro liposuction procedure we process it very minimally and then we re-inject it very safely into the face. And that all happens in, in one? In one setting. One setting. And, and so tell me, where did you inject her own fat in her face? Well, in her before photo, you kind of notice that her face is a little bit more oblong and mm -hmm. it's a little bit uh, thin around the eyes. And to give the eyes back a very youthful uh, uh, shape mm -hmm. and contour, we fill under the brow, into the forehead and the temple, and then under the cheeks and uh, even in, under the nasolabial areas to re-volumize the face, to give back that more egg shape youthfulness that's in the face. I just, it's amazing because, um, you know, she looks um, healthy, you know, that, well. that, 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 that volume in her face gives her kind of a, a healthy appearance and a healthy glow. Well, it not only looks healthy, we actually think it is healthier because there's a relationship between the fat in your face and the youthfulness of the skin itself. As we lose that fat, the skin becomes thinner and thinner and thinner. When we replace the fat in the face, we've actually scientifically proven that more collagen is stimulated in the skin itself as well as more blood flow. So my approach is to just uh, do this process first, which involves no cutting, just a little bit of uh, liposuction and re-injecting the fat. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, just around her mouth on this particular um, woman, you can just, uh, the youthful appearance that she has, where I'm, I'm assuming you did it, you call it the labial? Yes, these, uh, these like nasal labial lines are the marionette lines, right, all right. around the mouth, in the lips, along the jawline, cheeks, temple, really reshaping the whole face. And I like to approach it that way as opposed to saying to people, well, I can do a facelift or we can do it. I really like to start with this because it's like building the face from mm -hmm. the ground up. Mm -hmm. What it's then t really uh, has turned around my approach to traditional facelifts because now we can do very minimal little lifts, very minimal little uh, skin only procedures. They're much less costly, much less downtime. Uh, you know, less bruising, swelling, and, and this procedure, you can actually be back within days, back out, you know, in the public. Tons of benefits. Let's talk about some of the areas because you can get pretty specific. Um, mm -hmm. We have some interesting before and after pictures of, um, you, you can do it just on the lips or you can do it, um, well, that was the full face one, but you can right. do it on the neck? Absolutely. Really? You can. You can I mean, look at the lines are gone in her neck, basically. Yeah. Now, to be fair, this patient also had the combination of fat grafting and a very minimal little neck lift. Okay. But you can see the change in the jawline, the lips, the mouth, you know, the cheeks. This is another uh, woman who uh, just had fat grafting and just softens the face and it gets rid of that sagging appearance because actually that's what happens. The skin is an empty envelope and as you lose the fat, 
the face just sags with gravity. As we replenish the compartments, which we have now know there are very specific compartments in the face, if you just inject those sort of specifically, you can get the shape back that you had as a very young person. Fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. Okay, so here what here's what Dr. Patak has done. He has a special offer just for our Sonoran Living viewers. Um, if you mention Sonoran Living Live and you mention the fat transfer and Botox special, you book your procedure by December 31st you'll, in addition to the fat transfer, you will get 20 units of Botox as a little thank you from Dr. Patak. So here's how you can get in touch with him. I know you are um, really wanting to know that after everything you've just heard. Uh, Dr. Patak is a board certified plastic surgeon. He's located at 9431 East Ironwood Square Drive. That's in Scottsdale, 480-451-9220. You can also look him up at drpatak.com. Thank you very much, Dr. Patak.